as the saying goes, money is everywhere. Not literally everywhere, but basically what that says is there's opportunity everywhere. But there are also very strange stuff scattered across things called money. And I'm not going to focus on Chinese yin or uh, Russian putinia or anything else like that. I'm going to focus on the U.S. dollar, specifically the one dollar bill. Because there are so many things in that one thing that is extremely strange yet barely anyone notices uh, you might know about the whole illuminati thing right there that's not the illuminati that's not even knight templar it's freemasonry and all the conspiracy conspiracy theorists are like oh my god freemasons are part of the illuminati oh. no no the Illuminati's dead. I, I don't care what you believe. The, the, there's no Illuminati anymore. There's only Freemasonry. That tiny little triangle right there is the Unfinished Pyramid, a symbol of the Knights Templar, which later, during the Renaissance, founded Freemasonry. You also see that there's a smaller triangle hanging above with an eye. That's the all-seeing eye. It was the eye of a Greek god. Uh, the god of wealth and prosperity and health. So that's good. I'm not going to die today. I, I would like to live, and I don't want to die. And I also want to live with money, okay? And that's basically all that's there, right? Well, not really. There are also a few strange things that you might find on here. Like, the pyramid, again, the pyramid. What's up with the pyramid? The pyramid has 13 levels. How do I know that? I don't know. Maybe I counted them. Yes, I did count them. And that is pr pretty obvious because, you know, there's 13 everything on anything that represents the United States of America. Um, 13 arrows, 13 leaves on the olive tree. Uh, 13 stripes on a flag, 13 stars on the bill, and like there's 13 everywhere. But there's just something that's cool, I guess. There are a lot of hidden 13s in this one side of the bill. And I don't know how many 13s I will find. Maybe like the Secretary of the Treasury word maybe has like 13 letters in it. Maybe like the Federal Reserve note as 13 letter. I don't know. I, I can't tell you right now because cause that would be a long time. And I'm lazy. So I don't want it. But that's just one side of this one bill. So that's kind of boring. But yeah, it's right there. Right there. Also, Andrew, Andrew what are those weird words? Well, what I can tell you is that... On the weird little ribbon thing below the pyramid, basically the translation from Greek to English would be Freemasonry is a new way of thinking that you learn from other Masons. That's what it says. It doesn't have the Freemasonry part in it. It just says a new way of learning and thinking. Which is just Freemasonry. So, yeah, that's cool. And then there's this thing. So, uh, what's special? Everything. This is the side that you really have to pay attention to. Although this may be very, very famous, this has more symbols. You see this guy on it? This is George Washington. You probably never heard of him before. He was a Master Mason. What? Yes, George Washington was a Master Mason. He was a Freemason. Not just a Freemason, but he was a Master Mason. Which basically means that he n probably outranks every other Mason in the Founding Fathers League. Yeah, that's strange. Not only that, you may see what he's wearing. And through what he's wearing, you might make out a small little apron that 
on him with a tiny little bit of letter G on it. Uh, also, another thing that you might notice is these numbers. Now, I don't have the specific bill I want. This is F. I want a G. The G on this thing actually partly stands for God, which, if you ever look up Freemasonry symbol, is a Freemasonry symbol. So, yeah, that's basically all that's on. Psych, there's more. The more things on the bill are these little stamps. You're like, huh? The stamps? What are they shaped like? Circles? Spiky circles? No, it's shaped like the sun. That's a symbol of the rising sun, bringing sunshine and light upon everybody who's a mason. I, I guess, I don't know. But then, of course, you will see some very, very strange stuff smacked right dab in the middle of one of these rising suns. In the middle of this rising sun, you will see a scale. That is a, that's a Freemasonry symbol. That is the scale of justice. This justice symbol also allows for right thinking. Right thinking is comparing weight or comparing profits and stacking one coin on another coin and stacking a bit of evidence and a little bit of evidence on the other. See which outweighs which. That's what the scale is. Now go look up what a Freemason symbol looks like. A Freemason symbol, as you probably already know, is a compass. Not, not that compass, but the one that you draw circles with. A compass and a square intermingled on top of each other. Depending on what time period of Freemasonry you're looking at, if it's modern period, you slap a G in the middle standing for God, or you kick that out, and yeah, you just have what it was in the, during the American Civil War and stuff. So that's cool. So why did I, why did I tell you that? Well, y'all know what a square looks like? Looks like that. That's a square right there, y'all. And then there's the key. There's the key to a new life. And that's what it is. It's just a key to a new life. Yeah. It's a key to a new life. It's kind of it. If you decide to count all the stars, you get 33 stars, a.k.a. the highest degree of masonry. some other stuff that nobody knows except Freemasons in the middle of the United States government hidden in your one dollar bill that you can buy a bubblegum roll and a bunch of other stuff now yeah that's that's cool and all but is there anything on any other bills like all this national treasure stuff go watch that movie it's the best it's like it's cool but is there any other bills that have this Yes, the $100 bill with probably an even more famous Freemason named Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin was a master mason, as you probably know. He was a good mason, he was a very famous mason, and he's on a $100 bill. And scattered throughout the $100 bill, it's a, it's a bunch more signs. But I don't have one, sadly. If I would, then I would have made, then this would be a $1 bill and a $100 bill based on a comparison. But no, because I don't have those things because they're so darn rare because that's what gives them value. What? Yeah, that's all that it does to give it value. It's just... The amount of currency, there's, you will obviously have way more $1 bills than $100 bills, no matter what. And in the entire continent of America, there will be more $1 bills than $100 bills. But if you think about it, that kind of doesn't work. Because 
if like a four year old decides to draw a fake piece of money, that's the only fake piece of money that looks like this written by this one kid in the world. It's so valuable. Oh, I'll buy it for a bajillion dollars. What? No, we don't do that. So a $100 bill is kind of like a doodle on a piece of paper. And there's only one of that doodle on earth, or there's only a couple of those doodles on earth. And boom, it's valuable. But if you want to draw the weird S, the universal S, or the universal 8, well, that's pretty. That's a very popular one, and it's basically downgraded to the level of a one cent. So, how does the economy work when there's so many flaws? Join me next time for this extremely unshameful video about how money works and why this thing is worth something even though we have billions of it.